Well, hello. I'm, I'm tonight, I'm talking to Billy Connolly, a well-known Scottish comedian. Billy, I understand that when you first came to England, people had a lot of trouble understanding your accent. Is that right? Sorry? Right, shut up. <coughs> I suppose that's as quiet as we'll get it. Right, now most of you have been to these gatherings before, so I won't explain too much. We're in the very coveted position this morning of actually having a hospital bed to spare. <laughs> right. And in the usual way, I'm afraid I must award it to the most deserving case. Now, you all know the allocation system, so I won't waste any more time. Who's going to start the bidding? <laughs> Do I hear measles? <laughs> measles, anyone? Come on, this is a hospital bed going empty. Come on. Do I hear measles? <laughs> Influenza? No, I'm sorry, come on, that's just a long lie in. I must start the bidding at measles. Measles. Measles, thank you, madam. Measles from the lady with the spot. Okay, that measles, that measles, that measles, then you've answered measles. 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 Pneumonia, pneumonia, thank you, sir. Pneumonia, head 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 pneumonia, pneumonia, Double pneumonia. Do I hear double pneumonia and a duodenal ulcer? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Does it hurt? Yes, and it's painful. A double pneumonia and a duodenal ulcer, that is painful. Any advance on that? Malaria. 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 Come on, malaria. Come on, it's not exactly terminal. Come on. Malaria. Look, I have to tell you, I have a reserve on this bed. I've already received a telephone offer of rabies. <laughs> Come on, I must tell you. It's a very good bed near the television room. Smallpox. 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 Thank you, sir. Uh, smallpox. Uh, smallpox. 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 What? Pleurisy? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Pleurisy is just a complication of smallpox. I think you're bidding against yourself there, sir. Uh, smallpox, then still add smallpox. Still add smallpox. Deep depression. Deep depression from the man on the window ledge. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Deep depression, then. Going to the man on the window ledge. Going. Going. <laughs> gone. The man on the window ledge has gone. So I'm afraid I'll have to start the bidding again. Bonsoir. Good evening. It is a great delight to be here tonight, a great joy to be back in England with all your beautiful English men with whom I like sleeping a great deal. Um, I was told an alarming but very funny joke the other day. What is green, red and travels at 60 miles per hour? A frog in a Kenwood mixer. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. But enough of that. I wish to talk to you tonight on the subject of heart surgery. Excuse me while I put on my glasses. Ah, that's better. At least four hours before the operation, the patient must be fully um, uh, knocked out. Um, when on the table, we start by taking a... Um, um, a scalpel sort of thing, um, something like that, and cutting in slices from the, uh, well, neck really, down to the, oh, uh, what is it, a uh, technical term for navel, um, uh, a prenatal knot. Uh, insert a, um, well, little translation, a sacrificial dagger. Um, uh, must, must be a better word than that. Uh, anyway, take the sacrificial dagger, um, shove it in, and, and, and then try to knot up the uh, macaroni shaped thing, sort of, uh, sort of, sort of fan belt affair. Well, there's something in there loose anyway, so try and knot it. Um, then scoop out the um, uh, bouillon. Oh, God. Um, something to do with raw meat. Um, Turkish, Turkish delight, KY jelly, that kind of thing. Um, uh, in order to stop it forming, a, uh, you know, happens to cream. Um, very stupid people. Uh, clots. That's right. 
um, then take a kind of tissue um, uh, thing, uh, sanitary towel over the, you know, I just told you, uh, lardy, squidgy sort of jelly sort, 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 sort of stuff, um, and then we'll, we'll grab this thing um, and, and slice, um, sever, tear out, um, emasculate the, um, the same word as the inside of a haggis. Yes. Um, uh, then, um, that done, put back in, well, whatever it was you took out, um, sew it up, and, uh, hey presto, the job is done. Sometimes, we find that the patient is already dead. But as you say in English, c'est la vie. <laughs>